during the campaign, I read much of Donald Trump's The Art of the Deal. I considered it an inspiration and it gave me a better understanding of the character of the man and his preparation to be President of the United States. The book spent one year on the New York Times bestseller list from the date of its publication in 1987. Back then, it seemed Trump's face was featured in the window of every bookstore. Nevertheless, the book did not interest me until last year when I became curious about Trump. In the late 70s and early 80s, I began a serious study of economics, especially the Austrian school. I became well versed in free market economics through independent study and meditation. I frequently wrote on the subject. Over the decades, I have debated capitalism versus socialism in both informal and formal debates with both students and professions, and in recent years online. For all these decades, I was more interested in defending free markets intellectually than I was in making money or making deals. But the, seri but the economic study and the commercial action both have their place. Jesus said at 12 years old, Know ye not that I must be about my father's business? Paul admonishes, be not slothful in business. Winning souls has been and remains my primary business. To do that, I need health and wealth, which is a reason for me to be supportive of faith teachers on these subjects. Men who have worked hard or laboring hard to create wealth are the economic engine of the ministry. The Trump presidency will favor business over big government and make America great again. We preachers are the agents to make the church great again. I admire Trump for the economic empire he has built. Socialists are basically covetous. They resent anyone who has more than they do. They are out to redistribute existing wealth instead of making wealth. They are losers. Trump is a winner. Now, not only in the business realm, but also in the political world, the art of knowing how to make a deal will no doubt help him greatly as he negotiates with Congress, hostile governments, and a corrupt media. Amen.